totally different, which is not a co- which is not in the field of success, in the field of imitation, conformity, and all that. So, through negation, I mean actual negation, not just ideal negation, through actual negation, that of that which is immoral, morality comes into being. Which is altogether different from trying to be and moral. That's, and that's, of course, trying to be moral is immoral. <laughs> yes. Uh, may, may I try to go into this uh, another step? Uh, yes. Uh, at least it would be a step for me. There's something that, that, that I intuit here as, as a double aspect to this negation. Uh, I'd like very much to uh, see whether uh, this is concurrent with your your, your own uh, uh, your own feeling about this. I was going to say statement, and I stopped myself. <laughs> um, my desire for success in itself is a a withholding myself from the problem yes. that we talked about. And that itself uh, is a form of negation. I have negated access to myself. Yes. I've negated the... the uh, in other words, I have done violence to what it is that wishes to reveal itself. Yes. So I am going to negate then uh, my <coughs> my uh, negation as the observer. Uh, this th- th- this I wanted to to, uh, to we make must sure. Be clear, quite right, sir. When we use the word negate, as it is generally understood, it's an act of violence. Yes, that's that's what I was yeah. hoping. It's an act I was of violence. I on negate. The mm-hmm. yes. yes. I brush it aside. Right. <coughs> I'm, we are using the word negate not in the violent sense, but the understanding of what success I- implies. The understanding of what success implies. The me who is separate from you, mm-hmm. wanting or desiring success which will put me in a position of authority, power, prestige. So I am, in negating success, I am negating my desire to be powerful, mm-hmm. which I negate only when I have understood the whole process that is involved in achieving success. In achieving success is employed ruthlessness, yes. lack of love, mm-hmm. lack of immense consideration mm-hmm. for others, uh, lack of uh, and sense of conformity, imitation, accepting the social structure, mm-hmm. all that is involved, and the understanding of all that when I negate success. It is not an act of violence. On the contrary, it is an act of tremendous attention. I have negated something in my person. I have negated myself. Right. I have negated myself. The me, which is separate from you. Exactly. Uh, And therefore I have negated violence which comes about when there is separation. Would you use the term uh, self-denial here? Uh, 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 Not not, 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 uh, in the sense of how it has been received down the line, but that if there's anything to what has been stated in the past, uh, could could a person who saw that word, self-denial, read that word in this context that you're... I'm afraid you wouldn't. 
He self denial means sacrifice, pain, uh, lack of understanding. But if he heard what you're saying, ah, then then if, why use another word when you have understood this thing? Well, maybe he'd want to communicate. He'd want to communicate with someone. I'd say, <clears throat> but change the word so that we both understand the meaning of self-denial. I mean, all the religions have based their action on self-denial, hmm? mm -hmm. uh, sacrifice. Deny your desire. Deny you are mm, looking at a woman, or um, deny you riches, become, take a vow to pro poverty, you know, all the mm -hmm. vow of poverty, vow of celibacy and so on. All those are all a kind of punishment, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. a distorting of a clear perception. Mm -hmm. If I see something clearly, the action is immediate. So deny, so negate implies diligence. The word, you know, diligence means giving complete attention to the fact of success. We are taking that word. Mm -hmm. Giving my whole attention to success, in that attention, the whole map of success is revealed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. With all its horrors. With all the things involved in it. And it is only then the seeing is the doing, and then it's finished. And the mind can never revert to success, mm -hmm. and therefore become bitter, uh, all the things that follow. Uh, what you're saying, I take it, is that once this happens, it's th finished. there is no reversion. Ah, of course not. Uh, Say, for instance, sir. It isn't something that one has to keep up. Then, of course not. Well, fine, I'm, 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 I'm delighted we've established that. Now, take, for instance, what happened. Uh, in 1928, uh, I happened to be the head of a tremendous organization, a religious organization. And I saw around me various religious organizations, sects, Catholic, Protestant, mm -hmm. and I said, all trying to find truth. Mm -hmm. So I said, no organization can lead man to truth. So I dissolved it, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. property, an enormous business. I, I can never go back to it. When you see something as poison, you, co you won't take it again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You say, by Joe, I made a mistake, I should go back and... <laughs> it is, sir, uh, it's like seeing danger. When you see danger, you never go near it again. I, I hope I won't annoy you by, no, by no. talking about words here again. But you know, so many of the things that you say cast a light uh, on, on common terms uh, which, uh, for me at least, illuminate them. They, they sound altogether different from the way they used to be heard. Uh, for instance, we say in English, don't we, practice makes perfect. <laughs> now, now uh, obviously, this, uh, <laughs> this can't be the case if we mean by practice okay. that we're, we're repeating something. Yes. But if we mean by practice uh, the Greek uh, praxis, uh, which is concerned directly with act, not repetition, but act. with act, Yes, sir. Then to say it makes perfect doesn't refer to, to time it, no. at all. It, it's, it's that upon the instant the act is performed, 
perfection is. Now, I, I, I'm sorry 